This is basically the flying cars of wigs. Ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between, I am back with somebody else's hair and guess what? It is wine and wigs day. Clink, 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 clink. Mm. <laughs> Baby, this is apple juice. <laughs> but I feel like I had to do something, girl, because I can't come up here every week with a mug. This is some good old, I think it's like Kroger Publix brand apple juice. What y'all drinking? <laughs> I'm just going to show y'all what we, no baby hairs. Whose edges are those? Mine's? Yours? His or hers? Theirs? <laughs> Whose edges are those? It's giving my hairline. And that is insane. Like this, this wig application was so easy and I can't wait to get into it. If I can stop drooling. Once I start getting excited about a wig, I start to drool. I feel like I need to go to therapy. Before we get into this wig, I would like to ask y'all to subscribe and hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post. Cause I'm coming to you every single week with brand new wigs and I told y'all I want to be at 100K by my birthday. I wanna hit 100K before I turn 40, please. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into this wig. I wanna say thank you to Beauty Forever Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. This wig on my head is the new technology that's been going around that I have been in love with because it's perfect for beginners, it's easy to apply, and it looks like natural hair. This wig on my head is a 13 by four lace frontal, kinky curly, kinky edge lace front wig. This wig was 24 inches long before my scissor hands got to it. <laughs> it is 150% density. If you pop the hood on this wig, you'll see that this wig comes with three combs, adjustable straps in the back, and it also comes with a removable piano key elastic band. When I first received this wig and I pulled her out of the box, she came with the machine textured kinky curls, but also I noticed that the knots were not bleached. So I did bleach the knots on this wig and I washed the wig. I want y'all to see, like, come on. That's what we're talking about on edges right now. This is where we are. This is basically the flying cars of wigs. The curls on this wig are absolutely gorgeous. They're so soft, they're bouncy, they're really, really full. And let me show y'all the back. Y'all see that? Like, come on, get with it. Come on, oh wow, oh. I didn't know it looked like that from the side, hey girl. <laughs> I did a couple of things to customize this wig and make it look a little bit more like me. If you wanna see everything I did to apply this wig, please keep on watching and I'll be back at the very end with my final thoughts and a coupon code. Okay y'all, let's go ahead and get started with the base. Y'all know I'ma move quick. I say it every single time, but I'ma move quick. I ain't got press on nails, I'm ready to go. Let's go ahead and start with the base. I'm gonna go ahead and use the same thing. I know y'all get sick of me, but it works every single time. Oh, I don't have a mirror. I'm gonna use my wig grip. You can use different types of wig grip. I wig grips, but this one's my favorite because it stays on my head. And I'm gonna take my wig cap, pop this on, and that's the base, girl. That's it. Copa cornrows, and we ready to go. Let's go ahead and try on the wig. This is the gorgeous wig. So this wig has been washed, conditioned, and the knots have been bleached. So let me show you what it looks like now. You saw what it looked like when it popped out of the box, but this is what it looks like at the moment, ooh, come on, hairline, all right. Now the hair after it's washed, it looks almost the same. It, you know, like, it looks more like a realistic curl as far as the hairline. It's giving realistica. I definitely think the knots, I like the knots bleach just so I can get a more seamless hairline, if you know what I mean. This is gonna be an offset apart, and I know it. I know it. Okay, and that's what the hairline looks like with the curls after it's been washed. Like it, it feel, I feel like it's looking like something or it's looking like my hair. <laughs> we can go ahead and tint the lace. Y'all already know, um, if your skin tone matches this lace, girl, cute for you, but for me, it don't match the lace. So I have to use a lace tint. The lace tint spray that I always use is the Kellen Derrick lace tint spray in the color medium brown. It does not have great reviews. I say this in every single video. It does not have great reviews for shipping. The product is good, but I'm still looking for a new lace tint that is readily available to everybody. I just can't, I haven't found one. So 
that's what I'm gonna use for now. Anyways, in order for me to tint my lace, I like to take off my wig. I like to take my lace tint spray and just spray it inside the cap. Oh, girl, I'm getting lace tint all over my thighs. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a brush and I like to distribute the color in here. I think I put in, oh, it's, it's, this stuff is messy. But use whatever lace tint spray you have on hand. I've heard the Eben lace tint spray, people like that, but I'm not a fan. It's too oily. I don't like it. I do not like the Eben lace tint spray. I actually have a couple cans still and I refuse to use it. I don't like it. Boom, all right. Next, I'm gonna take my Dyson blow dryer and we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna set in the color using the Dyson blow dryer. So I blow dry my lace tint on high and warm to set in the color, make sure it's baked in, and then we get to apply the lace. I'm expecting this to be quick. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and pop on this wig while it's warm. I love putting on my wig while it's warm. It feels like a little, a little bakery on my head. <laughs> bakery. Okay, so let's pop on the wig. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. What y'all think? So I'm gonna go ahead and take my Annie shears and we're just gonna go ahead and cut this place. Cut it off so we can apply this wig and we can punch it, child. Cause what I'm trying to do is get this wig applied so I can go outside. Bars, is this the right clip? So one thing I've been doing is kind of cutting into my lace. Cause like this hairline looks a little bit straight. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut the lace starting at the ear. And in order to make the lace look a little bit more realistic, I like to like, this is a little risky, cut into the hairline like a little bit and then come back out. If it's looking like a little bit straight across. So I just like cut into it and then come back out. Oh, that was a bit much. Oh girl, I lost a whole piece of my hairline. Okay, so I'll go in here, come out here. Okay, I probably shouldn't have done that. That was a little bit too far, honey. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing a lot. Okay, I need to relax. <gasps> oh, not the hair falling out. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> gotta do the same thing on this side. Otherwise, it's gonna look a fool, so. Oh, I need to relax. Girl, I be doing a lot. I really be so confident for what? Okay, so we're cutting. Oh, my hands smell good. <laughs> the hairline is looking fantastic. <laughs> it looks good. Okay, so now that that's complete, all we have to do is apply the wig. I'm not flattening the hairline on this because this has kinky curly edges. And to me, kinky curly edges look so realistic that you don't even, don't even mess with them. I mean, you can straighten them if you want to, but what's the point? I'm gonna go ahead and apply this wig. When I apply my wigs, I love to use the Even Wonder Lace Bond Adhesive Spray Extreme Firm Hold. So I'm gonna take this spray and I'm just gonna, y'all know I'm wild with mine. Okay, I live on the wild side, okay? So I like to do two sprays. So one spray, ooh. And then I like to do a second one. I like to let this dry down a little bit. Sometimes I don't wait, cause I don't have time, girl. We just trying to get this thing on. And I'll take a second. And I just lay it on down. We sprayed it down and next I'm just gonna wait for this to get a little bit tacky and then we're going to apply this part and then we'll do the ear tabs. Okay, so is this? Oh, I think it's tacky. Okay, how close? Do I want it? Is that too close? Oh no. Oh. This is gonna have to be it, girl. I think that's good. Is that good? That's good. What you think? Okay, so I'm just gonna hold it until it is gonna stay. Cause it's being real finicky today. Come on, stick to my forehead. You know you want to. <laughs> you wanna be here, girl. <laughs> it's a good place to be. <laughs> oh, certain parts are not. Okay. So I'm gonna take the end of a rat tail comb and see if I can get See if I can get some of these ends to like stick stick. So I'm just, okay, this is what I'm talking about. Yes. It's like you pull it on scalp, friend. You can 
tell me that's not my edges. I just don't. Wow, my eyebrows are really menacing. But you can't tell me the same my edges. I do the same thing on both the ear tabs, and then I'll be back to add a little mustiana. We're gonna get these curls together. I may cut the hair. I may cut it. But I guess I gotta see what mood I'm in. You know. Now, I just did the ear tabs. The lace is taking a little bit more time to stick. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know if my forehead oily. My forehead is probably oily. But I'm popping in to let y'all know. Like, look at this hairline. Like, look at this hairline. It's insane. Like, oh, not my... Oh, y'all know how wild I am. My... <laughs> Fingertips was stuck to my earlobe, like what? Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Don't worry, this is shiny, but we're gonna clean it up, okay? So, let's do this side. Clean your foreheads. <laughs> Cause my forehead is giving it's oil slick, okay? This wig do not wanna stay on. I'm over here with a dirty forehead. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go play. Okay, so in order to clean up this hairline, I need to use, you can use water, but I love using micellar water to clean up my hairline because although this looks good, when I say clear it up, clean it up, it's like shiny. Like it looks like somebody, like I like to say, licked my forehead. So I like to clean it up with a Q-tip and some micellar water. I'm just gonna add some to a Q-tip. Oh, girl, I'll be wasting products so bad. Maybe I could, uh, girl. Um, so I like to take this and then I'll just go around the hairline with the Q-tip. And then I'll follow it up with a towel just to get the shininess off. And it comes right off. Well, some areas are tougher than others, but it does the job, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna do this all the way across the forehead until it's fully cleaned up. Okay, so the hairline is applied. I'm not going to melt this hairline because I don't want the kinky hairs, the natural hairline to get stuck in the stickiness, if you know what I mean. So girl, this is gonna be lifted high. And plus, I don't think it needs to be melt. Like, doesn't it look good? Like, it's a little bit halo-y, but it's not too bad. Like, it's it looks good. So next, all we have to do is work on our hairline. Now, baby, you can stop right here because the hair looks like it's done. But y'all know me. I can't just stop at the stop sign. I gotta keep going. So I'm gonna do a little bit of stylation on this situation because the ends on this hair is are is dry, are dry. The ends on this hair are dry. Like especially up here in the frontal area, like the hair up here, it feels dry, it feels a little crispy, and they need a little moisturization on the situation. Yes, when I have dry ended curly hair, what I like to do is trim the hair and it gives the hair more bounce and the hair looks a lot bigger than what it actually is. So you get more volume once you do a little trim. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I always start with my trims down here, okay? Down here towards the chesticles. I just pull all the hair around, give it like a mink moment, okay? Boom, like these. Just make sure I stretch all of it as much as possible so I can get these ends and make sure they're even. And I'm just gonna cut these ends off, like right here. 
There we go. Wow. Ooh, I cut off a lot. What's that, about a couple inches? Ooh, is this even? Girl, that's always the question. Oh, yeah, y'all see these pieces? Okay, that's what I was talking about. I'm just going. Oh, girl. Okay. Now, let's get into the rest. Now, let me go ahead and cut this hair at the top. So, this hair needs to be cut. I do want, I don't want bangs, but I want bangs, you know? It's a dilemma. I'm going to section away this hair at the front. It's a little triangle. Girl, what type of parting am I doing? See, that's why I tell y'all, I cannot... Like somebody, come over here, reach your fingers through the screen and help me part this. I'm gonna cut off the ends on this. Like, can you see the ends? Like they're really dry, kind of sparse. I'm gonna just cut it. Ow. <laughs> how did I even hurt myself doing it? I don't even know how I did it. Okay, I did one chop. Point cut into it so it's not so blunt. And then we're gonna do another chop. We're trying to get layers, friend. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna Part backwards. Okay. Hopefully I didn't lose my part because wow. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this like a tad bit shorter. Right? What am I doing here? I don't know. But I'm just gonna point cut. Yeah, ow. Oh, these aren't that sharp because it didn't cut me or did it? It hurt though. Oh my God. It felt like a little alligator bite. No, not alligator. Okay. Do my last. How short is this? Oh, I got to be careful. Should I leave it at that? Mm, no. I'll part one more section and cut it just a tad bit shorter and then I'm going to be done. It's going to be good enough for me. Yeah, because I think I want it just right at the chin. So I'm gonna cut like an inch off. Like this is not gonna be that much. You know what I'm saying? But I do want like little bangs. Am I bleeding? <laughs> like shears will get you. Wow. Cut into it. Like so. Okay. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's unhinged over here. <laughs> yes. Uh, we love it. We love to see it. I think that's good. That's cute. Okay, so for the, what I like to do is move on now. Okay, and take my edges. Take my hair. Here, right? And I like to cut into it, right? So I take the hair up and I use the hair in front of it as a guide and I... Just cut into it, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this is about to be a moment, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna take a second section and cut into it, and then I think that's that's it. I don't take the hair at the back because this hair is way too long. That's already been cut. I'm just cutting the hair like from the earlobes and above. That's what I learned from the um, YouTube stylist. That's what, they, that's what they had told me. I'm gonna lift this up and cut into it. Oh God, oh girl, see? Okay, so that's that, that's that side. Wow, that's a little bit unhinged, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna cut into that, just a tad bit more. Okay, I'm gonna take this section and do the same thing on this side. Just cut in the angle and use the hair as a guide, but only using, cutting the hair above the ears at an angle, right? Like this. Yeah. Mm hmm I feel very safe. Very, very, yes. Be bold. Cool. Great. There is hair shavings everywhere. But this will have to be the shape. It's giving a little bit more shape. You can, you don't hear popping on the ends. Just a little bit of popping. But not too much. So now all we have to do is add the mousse and we're 
we're done. So next, we're just gonna go ahead and add this mousse. We're gonna make it quick and simple, okay? Y'all know my favorite products. I like to use the, oh girl, this hair in this brush. I like to use my favorite mousses. Now the mousse I'm gonna use today because this hair is a little bit more of a kinky texture. So kinkier textures, I think need a little bit more of a heavier mousse. So this is the Do Mousse Stuff Texture Foam. Love using this. I'm gonna use some water as well to like water it down in my continuous spray bottle. And I'm also going to use my Evolve 572 brush to detangle and clump these curls. Wow, some of these curls are really just like, girl, you said you cut me, but you did not. You thought you did, but you didn't. So I'm gonna clip this hair away, boom. And then we're gonna work on this side with adding the mousse. And y'all know I have been trying to work in bigger sections. I'm not gonna go all the way up to the roots because usually I saturate the hair all the way up to the roots. It's like washing the hair twice. And that takes a lot, a lot, a lot of time. I'm gonna cut my time in half by focusing on the ends because that's the most important part. And then, except for when we get to the top. The top, I'm getting to the roots, okay? It's gonna be rooted to this. It's gonna be all of it. I'm gonna take some purified water because why not? And I'm going to take some of my mousse def. It's like 50-50, right? So my mousse def mousse, and I'm just gonna pour it into here so it can water it down just a bit because this stuff is like thick like cough syrup, baby. Just gonna close this on up. Oh, and I'm gonna mix it. And I'm just gonna spray it into the hair. This could like speed up the process just a tad bit, couldn't it? I hope so. Cause, wow, <laughs> it's been a long time coming, girl. Okay, so I'm adding the mousse. If I wanna add a little bit of extra, move this bang out the way so y'all can hear me. I feel like if I can't see you, you can't hear me. If I want a little extra like juiciness to the ends, I'll add a little bit more mousse, but this is good just for a base. Once we saturate the hair, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Evolve 572 brush and I'm just going to detangle the ends and clump the curls to that, together. Yes. Oh, this is like satisfying. Girl, look. Look. Oh, yes. You see that? Wow. <laughs> wow. Inspiring. Wow. Okay. So we're going to do that same process working through all of the hair getting the ends all clumped up. I'm gonna work all the way to the top and then we're gonna do the other side. So let's keep going.
Well, okay, y'all, we have fluffed out the hair. And, oh wait, let me get that out of frame. This is the finished look. What do you think? What do you feel? Oh my God, it's absolutely gorgeous. The hair is so soft and this hairline, come on, baby. No baby hairs, no nothing. Just vibes, girl, just edges. Like, look at that. This feels and looks like my hair and it was super easy to install. You know what? I need to get this part together because the hair is so thick. Let me put some concealer on my part. Hold on. Hold on. I take a little bit of my Bobbi Brown Golden Skin Stick Foundation and I'm just gonna go in here. There we go. Oh, so much better. Cause girl, you, you couldn't see my part before. Okay. We're all set. Y'all see this hair? It is so big and so fluffy. Some parts of it is still like a little bit wet, but this hair is gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. I cut off a lot off the bottom because the ends need to be curly like this. If it don't curl like this, I chop them off. But the hairline and the hair, let me show y'all the back. Y'all know I gotta show you what the back looks like. If it's not even, don't even worry about it. Close your eyes, friend, or just pretend that it's even for me. But this is the back. Oh my God, y'all see those curls? What are we talking about? There's no conversation to be had. These curls is popping to. Let's get into pros and cons, cause y'all know for these wigs, I like to do a pros and cons. So let's start with the pros. The pros on this wig is obviously, like I said, the hairline, the curl texture is absolutely gorgeous. This wig is comfortable to wear. It was super easy to apply and the lace blends pretty well for it, for it not to be like clear lace. It blends really well. Even with lace tint, it blends really well. And this is a super easy, this wig, you can install this wig super easily. And it seems like it's perfect for beginners. I, the cons would be I had to bleach the knots on this wig. Because of the natural texture of the hairline, the little dots that are usually on there, it just would be a little bit more obvious to me. And the wig looks more natural with bleach knots. So I do wish this wig had pre-bleached knots but if you know how to bleach knots or if you know how to conceal your knots using a knot concealer or something like that i'll leave a recommendation for a knot concealer down below if you know how to do that girl you ain't gotta worry about it but for me i feel like these knots should be bleached because after i bleach the knots girl it's like it's giving scalp everything else is like perfection oh the ends were dry on this wig i feel like i needed the ends to be a little bit bouncier like a little bit um curly like a little bit less dry but after cutting the wig this hair is super duper soft y'all can see the bounce all of that but i did have to cut off some ends and trim it a little bit so please could keep that in mind when you're considering the inches of your unit if you are considering purchasing this unit but that's basically it y'all but I think that's basically it. That's my final thoughts. I also want to say thank you to Beauty Forever Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. I will leave a link to this unit down in the description box below. But I also will leave what a coupon code because it's rude to have y'all leave a party without a party favor. Okay, who does that? We got Kooth over here. <laughs> I will leave the coupon code details in the description box below. Go ahead and check it out. Save your money, sis. Save your coins. Okay? I love you all. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. This doesn't mean as much without nails. I hate that.